Conrad Murray was his doctor. He knew Michael Jackson had a problem taking drugs to help him sleep. He recorded the singer talking about his upcoming concerts. All these drugs were found at his house. Medical experts explained propofol was a hospital anaesthetic which should never be used to treat insomnia and not at home without proper monitors and constant care. Conrad Murray was being paid £100,000 a month, but was out of the room when Michael Jackson stopped breathing. Michael Jackson trusted Conrad Murray. He trusted him with his life. He paid with his life. Conrad Murray, in multiple instances, deceived, lied, obscured, but more importantly, Conrad Murray acted with criminal negligence. No, that during that period of time... The defense claimed Michael Jackson had injected himself with the drug that killed him. What they're really asking you to do is to convict Dr. Murray for the actions of Michael Jackson. If you're going to hold Dr. Murray responsible, don't do it because it's Michael Jackson. This is not a reality show. It's reality. But the jury decided Dr. Conrad Murray was responsible for Michael Jackson's death and convicted him of involuntary manslaughter. Alistair Leith, BBC News, Los Angeles.